Wow, look at this thing. You know what that is? That is a slusher. And I can't even barely move it. It's got teeth on it. I don't know how the men even put it over here. This thing is a monster. It's a monster. See the teeth on it? Uh, underground workings of the Kyoto or the Bristol Silver Mine. And then the drops down, I'm seeing 1,200, 1,300, 1,700. What is the bottom level? It's supposed to be like 2,800. 2,800. So right here, I got a three-way split. I can go left, I can go straight, or I can make a right. And according to Joanne Christopher, there's an incline shaft over here we're going to check out. Wow, huge stove. There's water dripping everywhere. That's a big, look at this. Oh, wow. Look at that. Ooh, I bet you this goes down to the water table. And now in England, this would be considered a dry mine? I'm going to show you as much as I can, so just sit tight, and you better smash that like button, okay? Because this is something nobody gets to see. So smash that like button. Smash it hard! Alright, so what do we have? These are the old Westinghouse motors. Here's the old Norberg double drum hoist. Right here, still intact, for the most part. Notice how it's sitting at an angle, because the cables go up to the top of those shiv wheels at the very top. I got another compressor in here. That's a smaller compressor. Once again, this is why they have somebody living up here 24 hours to make sure they don't come back and destroy this even more. But these motors are destroyed forever now. Gone forever. This is an old compressor. It's an old Sullivan. And I'm, I'm glad it's still here to some degree. But that just breaks my heart to see that. There's that water seepage. See all that limonite and hematite. Oh, there's an ore car. Huge ore car. I don't know why people take the bases off of them, though. Mm -hmm. See that? Yeah. It's cold in here. Good thing I brought my thermals. <laughs> <laughs> Gobbing. That's when they stack rock in place where they don't want to have to haul it out. Wow. You know this is going to tie in with the main shaft. Shaft. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my box. The old chalkboards. Oh, welding rods. Looks oh. like welding rods. Look at that. Well, they can bring the ore cars in right here. Do maintenance on them. Yep. How come they got two sizes? They also had one here. Cross side and look down. All right. They had a forge in here to sharpen these bits. And is that the one they used? Is that the skip? Yeah. Yep. According to Bob, this is a winch that they used to haul an ore car up. And there's the actual uh, skip cars over there. They'd bring it up here with lock. Then they would it would be loaded up with drill steel and everything that they needed to get in there for sharpening or whatever. They'd have another ore car here, which is usually a flatbed. They'd throw it onto here, onto this track, and then they could wheel it right into the maintenance shop. Wow, that is so creative. So you had an operator up here. There's your variable speed controller again. Of course, here's the copper thieves. You got a brake and you got a clutch. Electric motor there. And of course, up here is what? Remember what those are? That's right. That's a resistor box, a resistor grid. I'm not standing out there. <laughs> and then push it all the way back into here. Do, 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 do. Turn, and then back into here, or take it down into the shaft. And then that way they could bring it in here. You had a forge right here. You bring the drill steel in. See all this drill steel? Right here. You could sharpen it. And then later on, what they did is they got rid of uh, most of the old drill steel that you'd have to sharpen, they'd have these knockoff bits. So that way you just twist it off, put a new one on, boom, you're ready to go. So much easier with the knockoffs. <laughs> wow, feel that air. Feels so good. Yes, actually, yes. What's gonna warm outside?
just keeps going and going. Right? For miles. Forever. It's like never ending. Faster. Faster. There you go. Built to last. Ooh, look there at this. My yeah, wife's yeah. gonna probably take wow, this. Wow, isn't this cool? <laughs> the ore cars would pick up the ore from that ore bin that comes off of that incline shaft. It would come down through here on this track. And then they could wheel it all the way out and then dump it in the ore bin. Long ways down. <laughs> it looks like all kinds of creatures are living in here. All right, this is one of the most important jobs in this entire area. This is where the hoistman would sit. You got two levers because you got two drums. And then right here, this is your variable speed controller right here. And that will adjust the speed of those drums rotating because they're electrically powered. And of course, these are with the brake system. And this guy would sit in here and operate these levers, and then you can see the depth of where those uh, skips are going, and then hoist back up. Now, like I told you, anytime you see one of these, you're gonna have resistor banks uh, that sit off to the side, because they all that voltage has gotta go somewhere, and that's what those are right over there. These right here, these old resistor grids. Every mine has got them. And when these things, this motor is going backwards, it turns into a generator. All that energy's gotta go somewhere. I don't think anybody's been in here for 100 years. Okay, maybe 50. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <Oops. laughs> Drill still on the floor. Okay, so... All those tubing. Feel that air? Oh, it feels so good. Let's go take a look. In there. Like right here, there's like a the thing the size of this track. Oh, I know. And ain't nobody been in here in a long time. Look, it just goes forever. Okay, let's see if you guys can figure it out. First of all, what is this? What is this thing? Huh? Leave a comment down below and tell me what this thing is. It's belt driven, there's a jack shaft right there. Now come here to help you guys. I got a whole bunch of these on the floor. See that? Does that help you understand what this place is? Come on inside. I got one of these. And I got more of these. Can you see that? Now come here, take a look at this. And I got one of those. All right, now some of you guys out there are pretty smart and you know what that is. Okay. All right, now for you out there that don't know what it is, we're gonna walk through it and I'm gonna explain it to you. So come here. This is the assay lab. This is where they would bring all their cores or all their samples and they'd have them assay. The first place you need to start with an assay lab is this place right here. Now, somebody's already come through and re removed this. There used to be a little jaw crusher right here. And then of course, this is a little impact grinder right here. So they take it from the jaw, like a little chipmunk jaw crusher, and then they dump it in here and grind it. They'd have the samples, they will be sample bags. Then they'd take it in, mix it with the fluxes, and then they would run it in this. They would heat it up, and then that way they could cupel it right here on the spot. And this thing has a very specific name. Now I'm gonna see if I really got these smart fellers out there. Leave a comment down below and tell me what this thing is. It's got a very specific name. But this is where you do all your fire assays, and you can tell this is where they've been stacking up their cores. They got cores in here from next week, all over the place. These are all cores. And just by looking at this rock, you can tell this is limestone, nasty old limestone, because this whole mine is cut inside of limestone. Oh yeah, I want 
doors open, so it's like, see that? Look at this switch. <laughs> oh, look, the switch is, see how they got that? So you can just slide it over. Uh, oh, there's a rock right there. Uh, I can't, I can't get it over there. All right, look at that pump. Look at that pump. Oh, wow, look at these, oh, wow, look at this. I know, right? It's I a, saw that and I'm like, I turned right back around. This I'm like, is yeah, incredible. This. Westinghouse Motors. And I got all these motors here. And oh, look at that thing. All these resistor banks. Oh, oh and I got drills galore. So pretty. Look at these drills, column drills. Everywhere. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what the heck that is. Oh, there's stopes everywhere. Look at that. Wow, look at that. <laughs> oh, are you sure? Hey, look, they got beer on demand. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Fancy anymore, but... <sighs> look at that. I love those stoles. So beautiful. Wow, yeah, you got a little bit of a clap here. Look at that. And there's stove. Oh, it's moist in here, too. Look at the size of the rocks that have come down off the back. Look at the copper and the limestone. There's so much of it. And you see all the hematite? That's incredible. See that? All that copper staining? And you got wow. silicates and, and you've got carbonates in there. Oh, malachite, chrysocolla. Oh, that hematite. Oh, that is pretty. Oh, I'd love to take samples of that before you get out. Oh, look at these rocks. I <laughs> know there's so much, huh? Look at that. That's what they call slabbing. You don't want to get slapped by that. No. <laughs> and they all came off the back. Don't come down now. All right, let's see how many of you guys out there know what this is. You should, because I have it in my videos all the time. Leave me a comment down below and tell me what you know about this room. But come here. He doesn't have athlete's foot. Why? He doesn't wear shoes. So you guys figure out what this place is. This is where the men would come in, the shower. Here's all the showers. All the bars of soap still sitting up there. Didn't see that. Maybe, look at these old logs. 1962. Change room. Fan off. Cleaned, sanitized toilet. 1962. Well, that's a good year to go to the bathroom. That's what brings in a lot of your fluids. That's how you get hydrothermal alteration, is through groundwater. Usually, you have what's called meteoric water. Meteoric water has been superheated by intrusions, magmatic intrusions. And as it's heated, it comes up, percolates up through the fissures. And as it does so, it can carry minerals with it. And then when it reaches limestone, it can change the pH balance of that hydrothermal fluid and it'll actually drop the minerals out of solution. They're usually in ionic form when they're, they're traveling in solution. So it's dripping water? And see where the water's seeping through this fissure? You got this fissure here in the limestone. And the water is percolating through, actually coming through that. That's how you get these mineral assemblages. It was called a replacement deposit. Replacement deposits is when the fluids actually dissolve away the, the surrounding wall rock and replace it with other minerals. And that's really common in limestone to have replacement deposits. Come on, Christopher, it's time to go to school. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I love getting me an education. All right, we got a slide and some swings. Come on, let's go. <laughs> higher, higher, go higher. Remember when you used to get real high and jump out? Remember that? <laughs> Make sure that chain don't break free. <laughs> go higher. Go little, go little boys. Very fun. <laughs> this might be the school. I can stay on this all day. <laughs> all right, then you jump out. Ready? There's side. Oh, you got to do side. Oh, we used to have these in school all the time. Woo! Oh, my ass! Uh, and a desk. Oh, cool. Yeah, and a shoe. Know, like, when all the schools went to dry erase markers, we took all the old, the old stuff stone. Stone throughout this whole building. So yeah, they did a rat in that one. Right? What's the hole for, huh? Yeah, what is the hole That's for? That's where we eat well. How does it eat well? Look at those little tiny chairs. Oh, you still fit there. There you go. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming these are people who passed by. These are all people we brought up here and showed them mine. They all signed their name to it somewhere. Oh, oh we gotta put our names up here then. Yeah, there's shots working in all these rooms. So you went to school here for one year. Two days. Two days. So this room or the other room? Right here. And the teacher said, That's it. Bobby, Get take out a hike. Of You're out of here. You're out of here, boy. You're Disrupted my class. Right. Put your nose in the corner. I signed the board up here. You signed it? All my cousins, my sister. 1956. Wow. Look at that. 1988, 97, 89. Of course, I'm 82. Of course, I'm putting my name up here too. We'll do a heart. Mm -hmm. And we'll put. Jeff and Leela. And this is, uh, what year is this? <laughs> 2021. 2021. How do you like that? Hey, give this note to the teacher, because I got a crush on her. <laughs> I'm going to get an A plus this year. Hey, I think Johanne's got a crush on you. <laughs> Wow, look at that, Slim. There's a picture of Slim. He worked in here in 1947. That's incredible. And it just goes for miles. We've been walking for a mile. We've been in here walking for at least, I'd say a good mile. And it just keeps going and going and going and it's getting really humid. So we're gonna try to figure out where this thing goes. It's hoping to connect to the main shaft, but I'm not seeing that. So, we're gonna walk for another hour and see where we pop out. So, ooh, maybe we'll meet Slim. Okay, here we go. Your drill still for cores. There's a looks like a stoper right there. I love these old stoves. Look at that. Wow, that is cool. Look at all these old bottles. Ooh, what's in here? It's so dark. Hope oh, nobody's in here. Oh wow, this is where they keep all the nuts and bolts and all the little knickknack stuff everywhere they need for maintenance. That's probably where they keep their records at. And if I had to guess, this is a bathroom. No, maybe it's locked. Yeah, it's locked. I'm gonna unlock it. No. <laughs> oh, they nailed this one shut. Okay. No. <laughs> anybody in here? I don't see anybody. Whew. Smells bad. What's that, dynamite? Ugh. Look at that. Work shelves, workbench, uh, <laughs> pipe fittings. There's old vacuum cleaner, look at that. Look right up to the, through the roof. Look at that. Oh, more work, workbench. Oh, this is cool, I remember this. You put all your little tiny nuts and bolts in these little glass jars and you just slide it up there when you need it, boop, you got it. So this is another work workbench right here. These are part of the resistor grids that I showed you earlier in another video. Resistor banks, all your little tools. I don't know what's in these little jars. Looks like grease and oil and all kinds of weird stuff. And you can see where the mountain has slid down, literally slid down right into here. Anybody hiding? Anybody living in there? <laughs> It's what? More house? All kinds of houses. Old house. Old house. Oh, house. Old, old. Old house. Oh, okay. There's one up there past that house up there. Yeah, I can see the roof of one the super... way back there. Way back up there in the superintendent's house. Okay. All this used to be really beautiful grass all the way through here. Grass? Mm -hmm. I can see some trees, nice yeah. trees. The garage here, there used to be another house over here. Up on the hills, there was 14 houses, I think, one way up the road there. So. We explored as much as we could. We went in at least, what, a mile? Good mile. And Good we mile. just barely scratched the surface. We're gonna come back, maybe take a week off and explore this as much as we can. It drops down, Bob says 2,800 feet. And that's gonna take at least a week to explore. But if you like today's video, I want you to smash that like button, smash it hard. Cause I tell you what, <laughs> nobody's gonna see this stuff, all right? So anyway, did you have fun? Blast. Did you have fun? Amazing. It's amazing all this stuff that's in there. So we'll get back to it. So don't you fret none, keep those pants on. So until next time, this is Jeff Williams and Chris and Joanne saying you like these Mind Explorer videos. Well, we do too. 
Stick around, boy, because we got more just for you. Take care, everybody. So come on. Let's, Let's go. go. Yeah. <laughs>